It is now time for the Jeff Fox Radio Show. Jeff Fox Radio Show. Turn it up and get ready to talk sports and entertainment with your favorite sports brother. Follow the Jeff Fox Show on Instagram. That's at the Jeff Fox Show. Follow him on Twitter at Sports Bros Radio. And follow the Jeff Fox Show on Facebook at the Jeff Fox Show. Remember to subscribe on YouTube to Jeff Fox. You can always choose to support Jeff on Cash App. Dallas Sound Radio Host One. And sit back, relax, and enjoy the Jeff Fox Show. Powered by Brandstar Sports and Entertainment. What up, though? What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? Who's up? Who's up? Just want to have a discussion tonight, uh, this morning. It's 1 (laughs) a.m. I'm going live at 1 a.m. in the morning. I need to take my ass to sleep. But I'm a little bothered right now. A little bothered. Um, welcome to the Jeff Fox show. I'm live again. Um, if you can, and if you will, please share the link to as many places as you possibly can. I appreciate that. But I want to have a discussion about, um, the recent events in Memphis involving police department. And how we continue to see over and over and over and over again. You know, I bet you thought we were probably going to talk about the Super Bowl, but nah, we'll get to that. Trying to figure out what the answer is. I want to know what you think the answer is to what's going on in America and what has been going on forever. And there's so many angles to the story. But one angle that I want to take is the black mother. How many more times do we have to see a crying black mother on the news? Like Tyree Nichols' mother. That used to be, that was just George Floyd's family. That was just Trayvon Martin's family. Like it keeps happening over and over and over again. And I don't quite get why nothing, why, why we could we could send a man to the moon, but we can't fix the race problem here. And I hate talking about uh, race, but one, one of the reasons I got in this business was to change the disparity in the views of issues involving blacks, not only in sports, but in life, but particularly in sports. And, and and I got, I got, you know, started to hear. But so I wanted to go back to the Trayvon Martin situation, and when the whole incident happened, and I thought that I was convinced that George Zimmerman was going to go to prison for the murder of Trayvon Martin. I said, I'm still convinced he was murdered. I mean, there's so many situations. But that one in particular cut deep because I only have, I've got a son. And strangely enough, he looked just like Trayvon when he put his hoodie on. The Trayvon Martin situation happened here in Florida, Sanford, Florida. We all know what happened. And we've seen the establishment of the Trayvon Martin Foundation and you know, God bless his family as they struggled to keep the name alive. And it, it, it received e- enormous support around the country, you know. But again, like like that situation, I remember the day the verdict came in and uh, 
I, I I couldn't believe it. I felt I couldn't I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And I remember what that felt like. And I felt so bad for his family. You know, and his mother, you know. And again, we saw the tears of, of a, a black mother then. You know, and Sabrina Fulton became sort of the leader of and a part of a growing fraternity of black mothers that have continuously grieved. And we see them, we, maybe we became desensitized to, to seeing them, um, the mothers cry over these murders, like they continue to happen. And then, you know, that situation, there was no satisfaction. We got a lot of thoughts and prayers though, lots of thoughts and prayers. And that's what seems to be happening. And I just wonder about the value of the life of a black person, how it's perceived, not only by blacks, by whites, but not only by whites, rather, but by blacks as well. Because people always say, well, what about all the murders that black on black crime and yada yada? Like, yeah, it's all related. I get that. But what happened to Tyree Nichols in Memphis? Just the latest. You know, the Washington Post did a survey in 2020 where black people who account for 13% of the population here in the U.S., accounted for 27% of those fatally shot and killed by police in 2021. Yeah, they did that in 2021. According to Mapping Police Violence, a nonprofit group that tracks police shootings. Yep. What that means is that black people are twice as likely as white people to be shot and killed by police officers. And I think people should look at that because... You know, again, we're finding out that the Tyree Nichols situation is, might be personal. So that's going to get, and the shocking, the, the, the cruelty, the, we've seen that over and over again. The, the heart gut-wrenching stuff that these families have to watch. George Floyd, Philando Castile, Zell Ford. Henry Dumas, Sandra Blanche, Jamar Clark, uh, Philando Castile, like all of these, it's Freddie Gray, oh man, Walter Scott somehow deserved a death sentence for running away from the police. Mm. I mean, there's a, just so many, many, so many more. Now, you can get killed even if you comply. And then there's this culture. And, and, and I get all the cops because I feel for the cops that get, that sacrifice their lives for our community as well, for, for everybody. But I don't know what the answers are. And one of the reasons I got out here is this. I was just a little bothered, man. Just bothered. Almost felt hopeless. Because it will happen again, and we'll get more thoughts and prayers. And what are the solutions? There seems to be a culture in policing, and we have to have the difficult conversations. We're going to have to have the difficult conversations about these types of situations. When George Floyd happened, we saw the whole country become energized to the Black Lives Matter movement. And he said, well, maybe this time, maybe this time but they'll get it right or we'll get it right. And then it happens again and again and again. And why does it only happen to Black people? When have we ever seen a similar situation that occurred with a young white man. 
Not wishing it on nobody. But what it does for me as a father of a young black man is we had to have that talk. And you know the talk I'm talking about, where you warn them about how to act, what to say, keep your hands on the steering wheel, all of that. And they also have to deal with what's troubling a lot of what's going on in the in inner cities across America. That's a lot of stress, bro. That's a lot of stress because not only you got to worry about corrupt cops, you got to worry about some of your own people if you're successful. You can get murdered for no reason in certain places. It can happen anywhere, I get that, but man, we got some problems. And I don't like this topic. I know I jumped on here live to bring it up, but I just hope and I pray for this country and I pray for our people that somehow there's a beacon of light somewhere where something occurs and a miraculous situation happens and we get a relief. And I pray for the strength of the black woman in America, the mothers that have endured since Mamie Till until Tyree Nichols. We've seen enough. We've seen enough. We don't we don't need to see another black mother on the news crying in tears, breaking down, sobbing. Because all they're gonna get is thoughts and prayers. And that's it and hoping for convictions and calling for peace and nobody riots and, and, and all that stuff. They don't get their kids back. They don't get their child back. They don't get their brother or sister or mother or niece or nephew back. That person's gone. When it's over with, it's over with. Got to find solutions, folks. <sighs> Got to find a solution. You know, because they, they, there has to be a culture, a system, a thought process where I know they say black lives matter, but maybe they don't. Because this is, it, if it only happens to black people, what does that tell you? Are we that dangerous? Or is that is that a mentality? You know? I see Benjamin Crump on the news so much. God bless him, because he always stands up. He's always involved. He always wants to help fight the good fight, but we need more Ben Crumps. We need more. We need to help change the culture. It's something that a good friend of mine talk about, and I and myself, we talk about this all the time. It starts with us. We got to change the culture. Got to change the mindset. I had to start somewhere. There's a lot of stuff going on in politics about all of these situations and, and gun violence and inner cities and the blue police culture. My, my nephew is a police officer, you know. So I don't, I don't dislike the police. I don't hate the police at all. I just hope we get some answers, man. Frustrated, tired of seeing it over and over and over again. And I hope we, we find some answers. That's all. Hope we find some answers. The list is growing when it comes to people being killed by officers. The day when we can see this country where a traffic stop doesn't mean a death sentence for a minority would be a glorious day. But now you have to worry about, not only do you gotta worry about, you just got, it's, it's not black or white. It's not a black or white problem. It's, it's deeper than that. 
I don't know what the answers are, but I can tell you that I hope we find the answers one day and uh, no more thoughts and prayers. Let's find some solutions. Those are just my thoughts. Thanks for watching. You've been listening to The Jeff Fox Show. Jeff Fox Show. Join us next time on the same platform for another exciting episode of The Jeff Fox Show. Remember, there's no Jeff Fox Show without your support. Continue to support The Jeff Fox Show via Cash App at Cash Tag Radio Host One. This has been a production of The Jeff Fox Show Incorporated.